Alright, hey there everyone. Here today to set up Unity and set up the SVN. Um, so, let's get started. Start by going on the internet and browsing to unity3d.com. Alright, so you see here, pretty little website, pretty little stuff. We'll go to Unity. Uh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Hit download. And then go to download Unity now. Download the file. And we'll wait for that to download right there. Alright, so while we're waiting for Unity to download, I'll start downloading the other file that we're going to need too. It's called Tortoise SVN. It's going to be the program that we use to access the SVN. So, Got it open here in another tab already. Uh, you can go to it by going to tortoise svn dot tigris tigris. I'm not sure what that is. T i g r i s dot org. Uh, once you're here, go to download, and then download your proper version. They have a 32 and a 64 bit version. Um, download whichever one you need. If you don't know which one you need, it's probably 32. Me, on the other hand, I know for a fact I have a 64-bit version, so I'm going to be downloading that one. I'll say download will start shortly. If it doesn't, hit that for the direct link. Otherwise, download should start up. So I got both of them going right here. Alright, so after those files download, um, Keep in mind that might take a while. I believe the Unity was like 160 megs and Tortoise was like 17 megs. So, anyways, whenever those are done, um, should have both these files um, wherever they downloaded to. I'm not sure where you have that set up on your computer, but find those files and then run them. Uh, I'm going to start with the Unity setup first. Run it if anything asks. Yes, I want to run it. Alright, cool little setup here, pretty straightforward. Next, I agree. Um, sure, you might as well install the example project in Web Player as well. Um, Web Player might come in handy later on. Uh, yes, I'll start doing its thing. Okay, so after it's done installing, you'll be co created with a complete page. Um, and then you have the option to run Unity at the end. And yes, we'll do that. Uh, first thing it's going to ask you is to register. And so we're going to hit register. We're going to hit internet activation. It's going to connect to a server. You know, talk to Skynet, all that good stuff. Should open up a web page in your browser. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to give it your email address, so I'm just going to put mine in here. Um, don't need to really put a company. Uh, no, I don't want spam. And then you'll just hit free. And that's just about it. So, there you go. Unity's authorized for your free account. So just exit out of that. And you can see that it got authorized hit finish there. There we go. So Unity's starting up now. Alright, so you should be greeted with a nice little welcome sign. Um, has some options to look at some video tutorials on how to use it. Uh, some basics and a little link to the Unity form. I do recommend you check out these video tutorials. They're very, very useful for getting your feet wet. Um, also, you know, if you're already a programmer and you know how most of these systems work, check the basics out. Okay, so we can see we're greeted here with our sample project. Um, first thing to Unity, you should probably know, are these buttons up here. Um, play, pause, and I'm not sure what that is actually. Anyways, play allows you to use the uh, in-game, or I should say real-time player within the engine. Um, 
pretty cool because all you have to do is just hit pause or end play and you can just go right back to working on the project no need to compile it or anything like that um, anyways so we'll exit out of there for now and then we'll continue to install our other program which was tortoise svn so I'll run that next I accept uh, all that just leave default hit next and install and then after that one's done doing its thing we'll move on all right so tortoise is finished uh, nice little confirmation of that so we'll just hit finish uh, and then it will ask to restart your system after tortoise finishes installing so you want to hit yes or close any programs that you have open and then hit yes or restart later so I have to close some stuff up and then I'm going to reboot here alright so after your computer has rebooted um, everything should be all installed and just about ready to go there's a little bit of configuration we still have to do um, so we're probably wondering what that tortoise SVN program just did well if you right click just about anywhere uh, you'll be greeted with these two new options one called SVN checkout and then a little sub menu called tortoise SVN that has a couple other features so how do we use this well for one we want to check out the repository from the SVN so how do we do that well, we're going to start by creating a folder. Now you can create this folder anywhere you'd like. Um, just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to make it on my desktop. So I right click, new folder. And just call that folder whatever you want. I'm going to call it Project uh, Grisia. And by the way, for any of you who want to know, the alt code for that little AE is alt 0230. And there you go. So I have my project folder. Nothing in it right now. As you can see, it's just an empty folder. What we're going to do is we're going to right click that folder. We're going to go to SVN Checkout. And then on your computer, this isn't going to auto pop up. Uh, you have, you're going to have to manually type this in or copy and paste it. Um, that's the address to the SVN. Um, it needs to be typed in exactly as seen here. Um, make sure it's HTTPS, not HTTP. It's a, it's an encrypted, um, it's an encrypted protocol. Uh, and then also notice I use the AE character again. The alt code for that is zero two three zero. Um, or you can just find this somewhere, copy and paste it. I'll probably put this in the YouTube description. Uh, you can also find it on the form somewhere too. Okay, so after that's in, don't need to mess with any of this other stuff, just hit OK. And then it, this little box is going to come up. Uh, it's going to start checking things out. Um, depending on, you know, how many files are in the SVN at the time you check out. This might take a while. You can see it finished when it says completed. These are all the files that I actually added. So we just hit OK. Alright, and um, also I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure next time when you hit OK for you guys, it'll ask for a username and password. It didn't ask for me because I already set it up to memorize mine. But anyways, that username and password is the username and password that you are to request through PM on the form to me. So when it asks for username and password, just enter in the one that you gave me. Uh, you can also have it remember it like I did. So after you check out, you should see a little check mark by the folder. Um, and that basically means that your project is, um, y you haven't changed anything. And it, it should be the same version that is on the SVN server. So you can more or less assume that you have the same version as everyone. If we go in it, we can see there's a couple new files. Uh, there's a library folder. Notice that all these files have these little check.